I'm gonna tell you about the first time I injected my dick. <laughs> All right, guys, story time. I was working for a company, a uh, company called Kink, and they were bringing us for uh, gangbangs. It was me and like five other guys, and they're like uh, bound and bondage gangbangs. I did one, did good, and then I was supposed to do a second one. Uh, unfortunately, I had to call out of that second one like a day before it was supposed to happen, right? The director, very not happy about it. But the reason was because I got an audition to be on the the actual legit movie um, Avatar for the new one that's coming out um, because they had it shot for three years and I was going to be on audition, but it was on that day. So I was like, I have to do this. So I had to call out of the King Game Man. And then a couple months later, uh, th they weren't going to hire me back, but they ended up doing it. So I was real nervous about doing the scene. I was like, I got to fucking destroy this scene. I got to do a really good job. So happens one of my buddies in the industry uh, shoots his dick up. If you guys don't know what that is, it's where they... I'm going to see if I can explain this the best way possible. Basically, your penis is a giant bunch of balloons with, like, some, wall, like, doors that let blood in. And that's what blow, fills your dick up, right? So, we, uh, basically, when you inject your dick, it opens up these doors and just lets blood flow through. That's what it is. So, guys use that all the time in the industry. I was using it for the first time, and I asked if I could take some of his stuff. He gave it to me, but he gave me the amount that um, he takes. His dick is a lot bigger than mine. So I shoot up my dick around, I think it was 2.30 in the afternoon. It literally, it's a little tiny needle you put in your dick and in literally seconds, it's just fully erect. It's just the most hard boner you've ever fucking had. Problem with this was we weren't even at the place that I was gonna actually shoot, like shoot some content with, right? Dick's fucking rock hard, I'm in the valley, I gotta go to Hollywood in the middle of the day, which is gonna be a 30 to 45 minute drive anyway. Then we get over to Hollywood, we're waiting for the girl, just rock hard boner. I gotta get all the camera equipment up to the fucking, like, with the fifth floor. Rock hard boner, rock hard boner. We shoot three to four scenes. I come every time. Boner ain't gone. Um, and now at this point, it's later on the day. I think it was around, we got 2.30. Now it's probably around 6. And my dick is still insanely hard. Like, it's stupid hard. After we were done with this content, me and my girlfriend were going to go down to Long Beach to the Queen Mary Halloween house. Hall, uh, the Queen Mary Haunted House. Thursday or Friday. It might have been Friday. So there's major traffic and I'm still just rock hard through all the traffic. And I finally hit up the guy. I'm like, yo, dude, my dick is not going away. And he's like, um, don't think about sex. I'm like, no problem. Can't. It hurts too bad. He's like, go get some, uh, was it, cold medicine apparently and thin down your blood. I'm not really sure what the fuck it did take that still there he's like drink red bull drink a bunch of red bull still there and then once we finally get to the queen mary get through all the parking lines and everything he's like try to work out so i get up and i just start running with the boner like the hardest boner nothing happens now we have to go through security checkpoints to get patted down with again the rock hard boner that was interesting get through that line then i'm like okay maybe i just need to go pee wait in another 15 minute line just take a piss. Take a piss, which is insanely hard to do. If you're a guy and you've ever had the big boner, you know it's just a pain in the ass sometimes. Nothing happens. Then I'm like, okay, is there a bar here? Let's go see how much alcohol they can put in my body. Maybe if like I can, maybe it'll help. Wait another fucking 30 minute line just to get the alcohol and they only gave me like a double or triple shot. Put that back. Nothing. Now it's around 10 o'clock at night. I have now been erect since 2.30. And we are just about to meet my new, my girlfriend at the time, friends, for the first time. And so I literally meet them, hi, I gotta go to the ER now. Very interesting trying to tell a doctor, the lady at the desk is like, hey, so what are you here for? I'm like, I didn't call enough ladies. And she's like, what? I've had an erection for about 10 hours. <laughs> and she's like, and so I proceed to go in there and they, and I just start making everyone laugh because it is a very funny predicament I have now put myself into. I think it was at two in the morning. And I finally get to a point because no, there's no doctors yet. And then I'm like, I go to him like, hey guys, this fucking hurts. My dick is really in pain. I need some drugs. So I finally come in with some morphine. That helped a bit. 
another hour goes by and the doctor finally comes up to me. He pulls out this needle that looks like it's going to, it's more of a knife than anything. Fucking thicky needle, it's about like yay long. And the one that you first do is like that, it's like an EpiPen. And so basically what he tells me he's gonna have to do is he's going to have to inject my dick with this big ass needle, suck some blood out, then push some shit in there to, and it basically flushes out my, my dick. I was like, huh? Mind you, I still have to be on set the next day for a gangbang at 10 in the morning. My uh, my girlfriend comes up to me, she's like, do you want me to hold your hand? I'm like, girl, I will break your fucking hand. So the doctor injects my dick, and I remember this so clearly. He jabs into my dick, and you see his hand doing this, and shaking as he's pulling it back. And I'm just, and I'm fucking just trying not to die, I guess. Then you just see this rock hard cock. Once he pushes the stuff in it, it burned real bad. But it just kind of goes, nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. it all looks like, it looks like eagle or fucking dick, man. It, oh God, it looks so bad. I think I get back to my house at four in the morning, right? It's been a hell of a day. Worst night. On my penis, there's a little bruise right there. So basically what happened was, because they pierced the interior of my penis, that it like it punctured the it punctured some of the uh, the cavities that I guess is hold the blood. I don't know what the fuck it's called. But the outside of my skin was uh, healed, right? But there's a little bruising. So I go into work and I show everyone. I'm like, hey guys, this is what it is. It's, it's not a disease or anything. It's just this. I have a clean test. And they're like, oh okay, you're an idiot. And I'm like, yeah. I'm fine with that. Now we're getting the scene going, and you kind of have to like kind of work yourself into like you know getting your dick up and everything like that. Now what happened because the outside layer of the skin was. Uh, healed, but the inner side wasn't, is now there's blood going in like all around my dick and it looks like someone literally beat my dick with a hammer. It, it was fucked up. There's only one part of my uh, dick that actually looks good enough to shoot. And so now I hear the director just yelling at me the whole time. Be like, dude, your dick looks like shit from that angle. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. So basically we get through the day. But the lesson learned from this, guys, you come into porn and you you find yourself needing the needle. It can have some very bad side effects. <laughs> Go to a doctor. Get them to measure it out for you. Don't do this shit yourself because you could get permanent damage to your penis to where it will not work at all. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to be putting more stories out like this soon. Please subscribe. Uh, push the like button. The LIFO Porn Star. We'll talk to y'all later.